six for that. Okay. Bishop a six, the king will come to c3. Bishop yeah. f3. Bishop f3 now. If rook d6, king c3, I feel like I'm making some progress. Yeah. Queen e6, 
he's in his 30 here. Can, can yeah, he's... like it, it didn't become. Uh, Luke 65. Uh, oh, Luke 65, the now dirty. It's like I just have an amazing endgame. Oh, this is. Double D pawns and a bowl full of jelly. Yeah, this is a very, very promising endgame. Double isolated pawns with no competition for that. Still, you can beat in the way you can put your knight on d6, maybe put your yeah. knight on d6. Well, the guard needs to bring point. this knight back to either c2 or f1 and yeah. get the bishop I, out. Knight to f3 seems like a good square because it puts pressure on e5. Also, sometimes you get an hg5 in. Yeah, yeah, yeah good point. So let's play knight h2 knight uh, f3. Yeah, good point. He goes, the same idea, just a different route. He has knight e4 as a possibility too, as an outpost. So he's debating, they want to keep the options open. Knight f3, good stuff. Yeah. Bishop comes to e3. You'd be okay with or do you, do you want the knight trade for the bishop or do you want to put the bishop on g5? Knight trade for the bishop. He's not gonna trade it though, he's gonna play king g8. No, this is this is quite good for, for white. He's, he's very nice to move g4. Yeah. He's gonna open up the h file and put his bishop on e3 and then put a king g2. Okay, bishop e3 not yet. Knight c4 uh, is coming, so you gotta be a little bit. Yeah, he's probably also king. potentially coming. King g2. Yeah. And I'm wondering about e4 daddy. If I can keep that pawn, like e4, knight d2. If I, can I play rook e5 there and just ask her? Probably not, no. It's it's definitely risky, right? No, if I can play e4, I'm just running out of ideas. A4 now? Oh, e4, rook c4. Look one, look one. Now he goes with this, and the difference is that he's going to be knight c4, I think, with b. E. b3. Okay. But, but if you went knight, knight c4, b3. Knight e3, rook e3, there might be some e4. Here. Yeah, yeah, that's a. That's why I was saying. Is, no, no, Kong is. I, 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 he's defending I, well. He's defending well, and uh, Black is in the shout. He's a chief, knight c4, and e4. That's a big plus. They don't see force 30 there, which means it protects e5. So the bishop of f6 doesn't have as much to deal with. But Kong is playing this well. Yeah, I mean, the little compensation Black would have for these weak pawns was White's undeveloped queen side, and he's managed to keep enough threats that Hikaru, Hikaru hasn't fixed that issue yet. Yeah, yeah, no, this, no, didn't get the, didn't get the setup where you can just push long term, especially yeah. with this pawn on the A4 now. Now he's going to get the knight to E4, unless he just wants to trade. Yeah, he does want to trade, and then... He might play, like, uh, trading, by the way, I think is a, he's happy with that. It should be three finally you got and it is achieved and he's maybe gonna play like what for D2. Alright, he's gonna do that first. But look long, showing some class. Yep, defending, defending the best you can. I was even wondering if you can play E4, it's been a long term plot of mode. Yes. Not necessary, but it does gain some more space. I wanna play E4 Daddy and maybe reroute my bishop to He's C5. probably he's probably most worried about immediate F3, right? Especially now that the king is in this sort of awkward setup. In fact, yes. it might get made well, into well, you played the answer, but he said, so now... Okay, but here comes F3, and you can't even take it because it's made. It's down, down, down on time, down in 20 seconds. Yes, I, I think E4 is losing. I think E4 just lost on the spot, actually, right? Well, takes. Rook here, and Rook E to F1. Rook E to F1. And he's frozen. Uh -oh. OMG. Let it go, Elsa. The frozen. Oh, nice move. The pawn oh, takes four, G5. G5. King takes G5. How do you come up with that stuff? It's over. It's over. Dan strikes again. I jinxed it again. King H2, King H1. Joshua Chamberlain strikes again. Okay, take on E4. You Move have rook, rook F7. Now you have a double check. It's still over. He can bring the rook immediately down to the seventh rank. And the main oh, is about to E7. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Whoa, what's going on there? Just anything, bishop d2 works. There's no perpetual for the rooks. Oh, no, bishop d2 doesn't work. Oh, that's a bad move. You can take everything on g5 and play the rook. Yeah, so bishop d2 is funny, right? It runs into rook e2 check, rook takes d2. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. What is going on here? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to settle on a draw? It's going to be a draw, Daddy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit, the, the play continues. And Hikaru's only wow. going to be getting more frustrated with me on Skype. Uh, well, that's good. We want to not get to take it out of you. <laughs> this is crazy. How did Hikaru not win that position? Right? Uh, 
I know they've already started, but I'm like, where was the win, Eric? Help me. Help me help you. I don't even know. I'm, we're moving on, all right? <laughs> it's the time that I realized something was off. He doesn't think time. And you notice that. Yeah. No, he kind of doesn't think unless... Okay, wow. Well, the play continues. My hairline recedes just a little bit more, and Joshua Chamberlain strikes again. I called it was over, and I was wrong. <laughs> the fans are getting their entertainment. Yeah, they are. They sure, sure are. Hong Kong is a tremendous player. I do enjoy these. these now, he really is showing his class here. This is amazing that we've gotten this much overtime chess. And, he uh... He's back after, uh, after we get this king running <sighs> Yeah. Yes. False Alarm Dan. That, that was my nickname in high school. False Alarm Dan. <laughs> oh, there were um, a lot of reasons for that nickname. Yeah, I was going to... A gonna... couple of them were, a couple of them were peachy. Most of them not. A couple of them were peachy, <laughs> but... Well, I was trying to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Innuendos. Yeah, and... well... Oh, what this false alarm is. Maybe this is the Quang Liam's match to get. I, who knows, right? I mean. So, so now it's interesting. Reverse colors. Naka has the hidden points. He likes to attack. Mm -hmm. Both of the greatest there. H3 is going to play Queen E5 as a possibility. Huh. White has a worse version than last time. Naka's going to. There's no bishop that pawns on E7 instead of mm -hmm. A5. So uh -huh. bishop E5 can be kicked out. Queen E5 is a bit of like F4. Mm -hmm. And then you put E back to E7. This is good for Black. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he needs, to, he needs to keep up with it. Man. You highlighted it really well for those who are going to watch the whole thing. You might want to back up and see that first yeah. game they played where the card was white and the differences Eric was talking about with the A1 being advanced. And of course, here, Black really does have a bind with the hanging pawns where the Quang Liam didn't before. So, oh man, I can't believe we're still trying to learn from this. I, this is like turning into how long have we been doing this? A four and a half hour show right now. Yes. Yes. Well. Okay. Bishop F5. Don't play rook C7. C7. Yeah. Knight B5. So you can play the rook I like that. Constructive. Yeah. Patience. You might just play A6. You don't want to play A6 because then knight A4 comes into B6. Okay, but Hikaru says I do want to play A6. Yeah, knight b6, mm -hmm. I'll put my rook on d8. It's more... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the rook is going to go to d8 at some point. Like, d4 is the move you always try to play. It opens up everything. Mm -hmm. Try to time that. He's trying to bring his knight around to g3 where it pokes it at 5. Mm -hmm. But that'll allow knight e4. Nice. So, so just for chess player timing, I, I have a flight to Europe in, tonight. So really? they play on forever. I, I will. Uh, you will have to I leave my flight. No, I will. Oh, I'll, okay, good. Uh, Do a, that's what the crowd wants to hear. But right, if I, that needs to be done, it needs to be done. Right. <laughs> I'm also, um, you know, it's a. Uh, I didn't expect it to. Right. You know, no, this did. This is. Uh, this is a lot longer than I thought this was going to be. So. Crowd comes first. Like, maybe maybe it's Hikaru's revenge. Hmm. Maybe he's trolling us. Oh, uh, that would be like yeah yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, now that you put that in my head, yep. I... <sighs> the mom's gonna have to go first. Ah, then the rook takes the rook. Okay, oh. well. Here Hikaru has gotten himself a full minute on the clock. Plays a5 much later on, everyone. Notice that once the light square bishop is gone, there's no bishop b5 anymore, so he's playing a5 and a4. Uh, yeah. a5 and a4, he's got the bishop pair. He's saying that, hey, you can take on g6, because I'm going to take back with h1, and you land on g3. Is it dead? Yeah. yeah. Where is it in the position here? This is... This is a... This is a, this is a position that he, he can work with. Yep. He's playing on a4. Okay. Okay. The pawn is in uh, recovery mode. He got the queens off so he, so he can play a little bit faster with the king in the center. 